to the coronavirus emergency in Alabama. Right now, we are seeing a lower number of hospitalizations and deaths from COVID-19. Tonight, a closer look at the toll the virus can take on your lungs. CBS 42's Jen Carzone spoke with a respiratory therapist. She joins us live in studio to explain the difference in the x-rays we're looking at behind you, Jen. Well, Sherry, here on the left, you can see a healthy set of lungs. Healthy x-rays show hollow organs that appear to be dark. But if you look here on the right side, you can see these patchy white areas that are filled with fluid when COVID patients develop pneumonia, a common side effect that can lead to permanent damage and take months of recovery. I really am very careful to say that we've won um, when we, I don't feel that way right now. UAB health officials warn the moment we ease up on how we protect ourselves from COVID-19 is when we could see another outbreak. Right now is the time to get vaccinated because the longer we allow more variants the chance to form, the longer this pandemic is going to be spread out. Because if you get COVID-19, that could also damage your lungs. The pneumonia, it fills your lungs. With fluids, it's usually a downhill battle from there. Angelica Jefferson has practiced respiratory therapy in Alabama and across the U.S. for 30 years. She says COVID causes lung complications like pneumonia. The lungs become um, filled with fluid and inflamed, and it leads to breathing difficulties. Um, for some people, breathing problems can become severe enough that it requires treatment at the hospital with oxygen and even uh, being placed on a mechanical ventilator. This can scar your lungs, leading to further breathing problems even after you defeat the virus. If it gets to the level of sepsis, it can cause the infection to spread throughout your bloodstream, leaving damage everywhere it goes. Severe cases of COVID actually damages your lungs, and they can be damaged where it's irreversible. Now, treatment that requires ventilation does not mean you recover the day after you leave the hospital. Especially in these more severe cases, it could take months of rehabilitation. The good news is Jefferson says people who are vaccinated recover much more quickly and see less permanent damage in those lungs. Reporting live in the studio, Jen Cardone, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.